Congratulations, Andre Richard. I'm so proud of you for making that long journey from EMS to four years of the high school at Landmark. Um, I've watched you on the soccer field, your heart and determination, and I've seen so much growth in your academics. I've been amazed. You'll do great things out there in the world, Andre, but don't forget your landmark friends, teachers, and all you've learned. It's been a pleasure working with you these past four years. Go forth and prosper, Andre. Best of luck at Concordia. This video is for Nick Troiano. Nick, congratulations. I am so proud of you. From your 10th grade grammar and writing class till now, our senior tutorial together, you have come such a far away. You have increased your confidence, you have increased your self-advocacy skills, and you are so much better at getting your work done now than you were when you were in 10th grade. Watching this transformation has been truly incredible. I am so proud of everything that you have accomplished. Though I'm really sad that we can't spend these remaining days together in school, I look forward to everything that you're going to accomplish next year and beyond. Please don't be a stranger. Please be proud of all that you have accomplished and know that you are going to do incredible things. I look forward to catching up with you soon. This message is for Alex Williams. Alex, I am so proud of you. I know you've been at Landmark for what seems like forever now, but you've grown and accomplished so much during your time here. I'm so proud of the things that you've done, who you've become, and I am so excited to see what you do in the future because I know you're gonna do great things. I hope you stay in touch and good luck, we'll miss you. David Krumka, thank you for being uh, in my classes for the past two years, and thank you for sailing uh, for the past two years as well. Um, your willingness to take on new challenges uh, with hard work and dedication have really paid off. I know that uh, with that kind of outlook, you will be prepared for what you're going to be doing in college next year. Good luck and thanks for being a part of the Landmark family. I appreciate you. Hey Sam, congratulations. It is crazy to think about how three years ago you were this quiet little kid sitting in our history class in the back of the room saying one or two words like, yep, good, okay, yes, no, for the entire year. And here we are today in tutorial talking our you know butts off about all different stuff under the sun uh, and just getting to know how funny you are, how awesome of a human being you are, and how I'm so happy for you in moving on next year to Mass Maritime. I know you're going to do great. I have all the confidence in the world that you know exactly what you need to do and how to do it. And I look forward to seeing where you go in the future. Congratulations, buddy. This message is for Jackie Connor. Jackie, I'm so proud of you and how far you've come. Um, you've run into a lot of obstacles, but you've overcome each of them. You've grown so much since your first year at Landmark and I'm so proud that you're graduating and that you're going to college. You're doing amazing things. You're going to do great and I miss you so much. I miss your contagious laugh. I miss your grumpiness, um, the funny stories you have to tell me every day and I hope that I can see you again soon. I'm just so proud of you and you're going to do great. Congrats on graduating. This message is for Drew Eggy. Congrats, Drew. I vividly remember when you introduced yourself on the first day of school last year as a sloth and told Miss Payson and me not to expect much from you. Luckily, you were completely wrong, and over the past two years, we've really enjoyed having you as a student, especially for your sense of humor. Um, you've shown yourself to be an empathetic friend, and you really made the most of your two years at Landmark. Wish you all the best in the future, and I hope that you stay in touch and come visit us soon. Is this thing on? Morgan Fraser, you say? Morgan Fraser's graduating? Oh my, I'm just so happy. <laughs> Morgan, congratulations on being a senior class 2020 graduate. Thank you for all of the work that you've done this year and all of your years at Landmark. For me, whether I've seen you on the stage or you've been dancing or have been able to get looks at some of your artwork, you have definitely shined and you've definitely made your mark here at Landmark. Over these next weeks, I hope you have times and find ways to celebrate and celebrate the accomplishments of your high school career. And I hope that as you enter college in the fall, that you take all the memories and moments that you built here at Landmark 
and use that as a foundation for the future work that you'll have as you enter college. Thank you for all of the crazy talks and funny moments during rehearsals and, and doing our work here this past year. It's definitely been a fun year. So as I sign off, congratulations. You are the class of 2020. I can't do numbers. Thank you. Be well. Be cool. Be breezy. See you 2K20. <laughs> Let's go. This message is for Tyler Gillis. Hi Tyler, it's Mrs. Mack. No, you're not late for tutorial or behind in senior study skills. This message is to let you know how proud I am of you. You've worked so hard and grown up so much over the last four years. It's been wonderful being your academic advisor. Exhausting at times, but totally worth it. You've made me laugh, given me gray hair, and showed me why I love to work at Landmark. You're one of my favorite students ever, and I'll always remember you. Good luck at Colby Sawyer. Be happy, work hard, and have fun. I'm your biggest fan. Stay in touch. Alice Schweckheimer. I wasn't gonna let you graduate without one last shout out, one last chance to embarrass you a little bit, one last opportunity to just make sure you know how much I have enjoyed and appreciated having you as a student for the last five years. Um, ever since eighth grade, I think we've both changed a lot in the last five years, although both stayed the same height, which is surprising and impressive. But seriously, I just want you to know um, and acknowledge your critical thinking, your intellectual curiosity. I really admire both of those qualities about you. Um, and I know that they're gonna take you far into the future and I hope you keep in touch. I can't wait to see what happens next for you. Take care, congratulations. We'd like to recognize Abigail Garthwaite for uh, her consistent enthusiasm and positivity throughout her time at Landmark. And we'd especially like to uh, commend her for having such a strong finish to the year. We are pleased to recognize Katya Alekik for her consistent performance this school year, her positivity, and for a great finish to the academic year. We are very pleased to recognize Olivia Moran for her dedication and the initiative she's shown throughout this school year and for a real strong finish. Well done, Olivia. We'd like to also recognize Ian Alsop for his consistent engagement and enthusiasm for any topic that catches his interest. We are pleased to recognize Gabby Kenny for her consistent efforts, her leadership, and the initiative she's taken throughout this entire school year. Well done, Gabby. Hi, my name is Tom O'Reardon, and I had the pleasure of teaching this year's Prep Math Award student. She was an excellent kid to have in class, a great math student, and an even better mathematical thinker. She was unafraid by even the most bizarre and challenging calculus problems. Congratulations, Abigail Garthwaite. Anytime you have a student who takes uh, two science classes in a year, uh, and has uh, excelled in both of those classes, uh, that student automatically becomes uh, someone who should be uh, considered for the overall science award. Uh, the recipient of this award uh, has done a fantastic job this year in both pre-engineering and in physics with Mr. Crossman. Uh, throughout the year, this student has worked very hard uh, has uh, done fantastic output and I can speak uh, for my pre-engineering classes. I was impressed with every single one of the projects uh, this student did. Um, I would really like to recognize and give the overall science award to David Krumka. The Prep Writing Award is presented to a full or part-time prep student who has demonstrated superior achievement and consistent dedication to their writing. This year, I had the privilege of teaching a wonderful group of 14 seniors across both sections of senior research. I looked forward to hearing their opinions on essay topics, as well as reading all of their many, many essays. This year's award recipient never shied away from sharing her opinions in class and engaging in a healthy debate. She loves to debate and quote, pop off, as she calls it. <laughs> she was also known for exceeding the page limit requirements in her essays. Although a lengthier essay is not always a stronger essay, Casey Hopkins wrote some excellent, insightful, and impassioned essays this year. 
When trying to decide what to write for her final independent study, she struggled. She was torn between two civil rights issues that she was equally passionate about, racial and transgender discrimination. Ultimately, Casey elected to write about transgender rights and she devoted herself to her research. Given her investment in the topic, Casey demonstrated a strong work ethic and admirable self-discipline, especially given the remote learning environment that we now all find ourselves in. Casey's literature teacher, Miss Marcou, shared that when Casey is passionate about a topic, she seeks out opportunities for discussion. When she translates this passion into writing, though, she is also poetic. Some of her recent responses in Miss Marcou's Unit on Beloved are poignant, deep feeling, and beautifully written. In both of our classes, Casey also uses her own trademark Casey font <laughs> that immediately sets her work apart, even if it also loses her formatting points. As she graduates and moves on to UVM, I hope she continues to demonstrate her great passion for her work. UVM is lucky to have her next year. Congratulations, Casey. This year, the Literature Award goes to AJ. And AJ, I'm really excited and honored to be able to give this award to you. Um, I'm really sad that we didn't get to spend the rest of class together, um, but what can you do? <laughs> okay, so AJ, you are an outstanding student in all areas, but you truly shine in literature. Um, and I wanna read an excerpt for everyone from your White Tiger paper. For centuries, women have been viewed as less capable, less authoritative, less ambitious than men. These stereotypes often blind men to the effects women can have in their lives. Throughout the novel, The White Tiger by Aravinda Diga, the female characters while constantly being misjudged, underappreciated, and disrespected by Balram and the other men are actually the catalyst for many of Balram's deviant ideas and cynicism. So this is a great, a great thesis. Um, but this really outlines to me something really special about AJ, because I think the meaning of being an excellent literature student is being able to take ideas and explore them and deepen your understanding of them and ponder all their multiple meanings. I saw this demonstrated so clearly in this paper you wrote, AJ. Um, it's universally acknowledged that Balram, the main character, although intelligent and cunning and focused on a singular goal, did not have equal or kind views on the opposite sex. And we talked about this cla in class sort of lightly and on the surface, um, we kind of had a light laugh about it and sometimes shook our heads and discussed it, what Balram, what Balram thought about women. But then AJ, instead of writing a paper <clears throat> that maybe explored some of the ideas we talked about in depth, you took this idea and you ran with it. Um, you took it one step further and looked more deeply at the instances within the text of Balram, the women in The White Tiger, using Balram using them to, to get ahead. Um, and came up with this original and thoughtful thesis. Um, you took an idea that was mentioned in class, discussed it on the surface, and formed a detailed and well-defended and entirely original analysis. Um, and this wasn't a one-off incident. This wasn't just like that happened one time. AJ, you regularly shared insight and views that were informed, intelligent, and showed great compassion for the characters' experiences and their lives. And this is one of the things I love best about teaching literature is t talking about these big ideas of morality and stereotype and how events inform our decisions that we make. Um, and I love it when students take these ideas and run with them. And AJ, you do just that regularly and consistently. So congratulations on this well-deserved recognition. This message is for Henry Terrian. Henry, it's been such a pleasure working with you the last few years. I really enjoyed getting to know what an awesome person you are. I'm so sorry that senior year ended like this, but I know that you are going to do great things in your future. I'm going to miss your warm and friendly smiles and greetings on campus, but I hope that you continue to spread that kindness wherever you go. Wishing you all the best in your future. I hope that you stay in touch. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We're with each of you in spirit and we're so, so proud. You did it. 
Emma, congratulations. I'm so proud of you and everything you've accomplished while you've been at Landmark. Taking after your list making lead, I've started my own. It's a list of things that I appreciate about Emma. Your list, your dry sense of humor, how you help make the world a better place, your love of TikTok, which I don't understand, your ability to make everyone around you laugh, your dedication to serving others, your obsession with new sneakers and your inability to choose a pair, how hard you work, your love of children and the elderly, our shared love of Crave Cupcakes, Care Cakes the best, that you've watched and rewatched The Office a million times over, and the way that you think about others and the world outside of Landmark. You'll be dearly missed at Landmark, but Providence College is so lucky to have you as part of the Friar family. Go Friars! This message is for Katherine Burns. Catherine, it has been a pleasure being your guidance counselor the past two years. You are truly one of the kindest, warmest, friendliest students I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. And I'm gonna miss you so much next year. I know you're gonna do amazing things at Westfield State. Um, you've already done such amazing things here at Landmark and you're gonna meet great people. Um, you're gonna meet new friends. You, something I've always admired about you is how much you value your friendships um, and how close you are with your friends. And I know you'll just continue that um, for years to come. Um, you didn't know this, but one day I was having kind of a tough day at work and you came to my office to say hi. And just you coming in and your presence lifting me up meant so much to me. Um, you have a way about you um, that makes others happy and you have a way of lifting others up when they when they really need it. Um, so thank you for that. Um, I'll miss you next year. Um, but I know you're gonna do amazing things. Okay, bye. Congratulations, class of 2020. Oh, how much we miss you. This is for Kalle Migliaccio, also known in the tutorial as the great Viking. What a ride, Kalle. For two years in the tutorial, I watched you grow from a quiet, hesitant sophomore to a confident junior. And look at you now. You pushed yourself to the limit. And even when you struggled, you never gave up. I will miss the energy you brought to class and our conversations. And I can't wait to experience the eloquence of your artistic creations in the future. Best of luck at SCAD, but please remember, even the smallest victory counts. So congratulations on all the small victories that brought you where you are today. Bravo, Kalle. Hi, Morgan, it's Miss Doyle. I wanted to send you a quick note about how proud I am of you for graduating and for the last three years of success that you've had here at Landmark. Um, I'm really going to miss seeing you around campus, especially after my first period class every day. Um, it won't be the same without you. I really loved having you in tutorial last year. Um, it was really great and kind of the highlight of my day, so thank you for that. Um, I wanted to wish you all of the best of luck at Emerson next year. I know you're going to do amazing things, and I cannot wait to hear all about it. So good luck, and I'll see you soon. Noah, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate you on this milestone. You're a senior and about to graduate from high school. Uh, in the years that I've worked with you in tutorial class, I have seen an individual, a student, who has matured significantly and has developed. I've seen you on the basketball court, and I have seen you on the soccer field. And you are an athlete as well as a true scholar. Your work ethic has always been in evidence, and I know it will continue to be. So, I would simply wish you good luck uh, next year in college and in years to come. But remember what I told you my definition of good luck is, or of luck. It is the point where preparation meets opportunity. You certainly will have opportunities in your life, and I feel you are very prepared. And so I say, good luck. Hey John, I just wanted to take a second and say congratulations. You've worked so hard. Um, it's been so great getting to know you over the last two years in LA. I promise I'm never gonna assign you an essay again. Um, I just, you're one of the kindest people that I have met. 
you're the person in the class when I make a corny joke who just gives me that like kind sympathetic like I get you eyes and that's huge that's awesome you've worked so hard you deserve to achieve all your goals can't wait to see you walk across that stage when it's safe um, and I just want to say congratulations you did it this video is for Miles. I just wanted to say congratulations. You made it, you graduated. I'm so proud of you and your accomplishments and all that you have done in your time here at Landmark. And I'm so grateful for the time that we have spent together and for the privilege of knowing you. Um, you have grown so much and you've really put yourself out there to accomplish the things that you have. I know you're going to do great things in the future and I can't wait to hear all about them. You better keep in touch and I wish you the best of luck going forward. Congratulations, you did it. Hey Liz, this message is for you. I am proud and privileged to have been a part of your landmark journey which began in the summer of 2016 when I met a young girl trying to decide if landmark was the place for her. Fast forward four years and I see before me a confident, independent, accomplished young woman and successful student. It hasn't always been a smooth road with obstacles that would have easily derailed anyone, but you have always persevered and held your head up high, no matter what. Your resilience is inspirational and I am in awe of it. You are the kind of student that defines my purpose as an educator and brings a smile to my very soul. It is now time for you to spread your wings and soar into your next great adventure. You are destined for great things. As you shine your special light on the world, I will miss you. This message is for David Warmack, class of 2020. Uh, David, thank you for being a landmark student. Uh, thank you for sharing uh, the last four years of your life with me. While that is 21% of your life, it's 4% uh, of mine, which is no less significant. Thank you for sharing. Uh, I've seen you grow uh, both as a sailor and as a, a student, freshman year, junior year, senior year, three years uh, totaling classes. I've seen your skills grow. Um, I totally believe in you, and I totally uh, believe that you are going to be able to prevail in any of the challenges you have in the future. Thanks uh, for being you, and thank you for being at Landmark. I appreciate you. First of all, thank you to all of the teachers in the language arts department for their hard work this year, especially under the challenging circumstances of remote learning. As I call the names of the following seniors for their Certificate of Achievement in Language Arts, please stand to be recognized and again hold your applause until all of the names have been read. Madeline Bykoff, Caroline Dangle, Catherine Hegarty, Anna J. Hewson, Nicholas Lopardo, Lucy Lott, James McCarthy, Sean McDonald, Joseph Membrino, Elizabeth Terrio, Griffin Terrian, Isabel West, Zachary Zawell, and for a certificate in film and lit, Eliza Keefe. And now, Ms. Kunin will present the Overall Language Arts Award. Hi, my name is Ms. Kunin, and I will be presenting the Overall Language Arts Award. Each year, the Overall Language Arts Award is given to a student who consistently proves their ability to go above and beyond expectations in language arts class. This year, I am excited to be presenting the award to senior Caitlin McLaughlin. In August, when I was telling my coworkers about the students I was going to have in class this year, each time I mentioned Caitlin to someone, they would rave about how great she is. Everyone said she was a kind, hardworking, and resilient student. When school started, it quickly became apparent to me that all of these things are true. 
One of the first things that I notice about Caitlin is she's consistent in a way that I appreciated before remote learning started and I appreciate even more now. I could always count on her to greet me after lunch in class with a smile on her face, be the first person to pull out her binder when I asked the class to take out an assignment, and hand an essay in in the exact format that I'd asked for. While all of these seem like small things, they're the small things that keep teachers sane in a profession that can often be hectic. Caitlin is also always challenging herself when it comes to her academics. Not only did Caitlin complete each assignment to the best of her ability, but she completed them days early, coming into class on a Monday, eager to tell me that she had finished an essay over the weekend that wasn't due for another week so she could get feedback on it. Caitlin consistently pushes herself to produce the best work that she can, and she not only listens to feedback, but she also applies it in her writing. Caitlin's school years have not been void of challenges, but she takes responsibility for her education and has clearly figured out a way to make it work for her. All of these reasons are why I'm excited to be presenting the overall Language Arts Award to Caitlin McLaughlin. Hey seniors. The Expressive Language Program Awards are given to students for excellence in improving their written, oral, and social communication skills. Our teachers would like to recognize the following seniors for their achievements in the area of language arts. Phil Eskies, Sarah Mann, Masha smith Rilmuto, Elizabeth Singer, and Alia Wilmot. Congratulations. This year, the EL program will honor a senior who has been extremely successful in language arts throughout his time at Landmark. This student arrives to class every day with positivity, focus, and a clear desire to learn and improve. His junior year teacher raved about him and he built upon that momentum to continue to improve his skills in his senior year LA class. His contributions in class consistently reflect effort and attention to detail while maintaining thoughtful consideration of other people's opinions. He's motivated, consistent, and an exceptional self-advocate. It's been a pleasure to work with this student and we know he will continue to find success and achieve all of the goals he set for himself as he moves on from Landmark. This year, the Overall Expressive Language Program Award goes to Jessup Goldberg Cook. Hello, this message is for uh, Campbell Drew. This is Mr. Stoddard, former debate teacher. I want to congratulate you on completing your education at Landmark. I want to thank you again for participating in the debate class and the debate program two years ago. It took me two years to call you Campbell. I kept wanting to call you Drew Campbell. It was kind of a running joke that we had together. And I know that, you know, you were a little bit out of your comfort zone doing debate, but I think it really helped you, and I think you contributed a lot to the class with your hard work and your research skills, and I've seen you around the last few years, and you always smile even though you're kind of low-key, probably the opposite of my personality. But again, I want to congratulate you and wish you the best in the future. Take care. This message is for Zach Zawell. Hey Zach, I just want to say congratulations on finishing your senior year and happy graduation. Um, I'm sure it wasn't easy coming into a brand new school at the beginning of your senior year, but I'm glad that you did. I really enjoyed having you in my language arts class. Hearing your perspectives on um, the different topics we discussed was probably one of my favorite parts of that class. One of my least favorite parts of that class was how many times you drew hand turkeys on the assignments that I handed out at the beginning of the year. So I'm glad we got over that. Um, I hope that you keep writing poems and short stories and I would love to read them if you do. Please send them my way. Um, the thing that I'm going to miss the most and the thing that's hardest for me about you graduating is that I'm going to have to find a new student who carries around a giant bottle of Cholula in their backpack that I can use during burrito bar days at lunch. So hopefully that happens. Um, I hope that you have a great year and I know you're going to do really amazing Thing. Hi Issa, I knew to pay tribute to you I needed to be in the outdoors enjoying the fresh air um, and sitting by the sea. Um, congratulations on all that you've achieved over your time at Landmark. Um, you have done so much for our community and, and so much I think for people that you don't even realize, myself included. Um, it's been a pleasure to teach you for three years in three different classes. 
and especially to have one-on-one -on -one time and tutorial this year. Um, thank you for all that you've taught me and um, please keep in touch in the future. Good luck, best wishes, enjoy. Breath. Congratulations my friend on making it to the end of your senior year at Landmark with all 10 fingers and your sweet dance moves intact. I am so grateful and glad that you decided to make the Landmark Woodshop your home for your creative needs uh, during your high school career. Uh, I've been so impressed with almost all of your projects, with the exception of the Rasta fish, which was absolutely horrible and a total waste of wood and time. Uh, Rasta fish aside, you've shown great, uh, incredible mechanical aptitude, spatial awareness, um, really impressive wood species snobbery and a willingness to learn, experiment, and grow and push yourself in whatever you, um, that's going to be great for you in whatever you do. Uh, you push yourself into ambitious projects and prove me so wrong so many times I have lost count. Um, I learned to just keep my mouth shut and see what you came up with. So for a send off, I'm going to do my best Brett dance. <laughs> This message is for Callie Dangle. Hey Callie, we are so proud of you. I can't believe you have been with me for four years. <laughs> did you wanna say did you wanna say something? Yeah. Okay, what do you wanna say? I hope I hope you have a great summer. Hope you have a great summer. What was that? And what? Good luck at. And good luck at college. Say we love you. We love you. Patrick, can you say we love you? <laughs> We're so proud of you, and we wish you the best of luck. Daniel Canarakis. This video is for Daniel. Uh, since I've known you through the Adventure Club and through Outdoor Leadership and through Junior Writing, uh, you've always been wonderful to have in class. Um, you're a really kind leader, you're thoughtful to other people, um, and you're always willing to take on new information to try a new writing assignment or to uh, learn something new about the outdoors. And I think these skills are really going to benefit you in college. Uh, especially out at Denver, you have plenty of mountains to climb and everyone you meet is going to be lucky to meet you because you've made this community a much better place uh, and we'll miss you, but I'm excited for what adventures are coming your way. Great job, Daniel. Congrats. Ellie Becker, you've made it. Congratulations. I know it was hard. I know sometimes it drove you crazy. I know sometimes I drove you crazy. But man, did you show resilience? You exemplified strength, uh, and you just pushed through. And I know it wasn't always perfect, but I'll tell you what is perfect. And that's your compassion for others, and your desire to make a difference to help people. That always shine through in you. And I want you to let that guide you. Let it be your compass as you go on this journey now. And this journey you're gonna take is gonna be spectacular. And you're gonna find it. And I don't know what it is, you don't know what it is right now, but you will find it. And it'll be real, and it'll be special. And I kinda of think when you do find it, it's gonna be you making a difference and helping people then as well. So congratulations. I'm always here for you if you need anything. You've got a place in my heart, and, and go find it, Ellie. This one's for Abigail Garthway. I've missed having you in my class for many reasons, but the main one is that none of my students think I'm as funny as you did. Your contagious laugh never failed to brighten up my day. I also miss the creativity you brought to your projects. Your ability to express yourself through art, whether it's a performance or a visual art form, has always been something I've admired about you. You have a unique spirit, and I hope you keep that with you as you traverse the slitherins of life. I'm not sure if that reference makes sense, but it's my graduation present to you. 
an attempt at a Harry Potter reference because I finally read the books. Well, two of them. Congratulations on graduating, Abigail. Don't forget about me when you're famous. This is a message for Ian Alsop. Uh, Ian, I've been uh, grateful to have been your coach for the last four years. Um, I've watched you become a, um, watched you go from a, a young runner uh, wearing oversized shorts that looks like this uh, to one that is, um, that is marked with fire, determination, endurance, uh, resilience, grit, all the characteristics that take uh, to be a good runner as well as to be a successful person in life. Um, continue working um, as you move from Landmark. Um, you should be proud of all your accomplishments here. And I will never forget the uh, philosophy and the wise words that you once told me that made me really ponder everything in life that if a tomato was a fruit, and would ketchup be a smoothie? I still don't know. Hey Katya, congratulations on graduation. I'm sorry that graduation is under these circumstances, but you should still be celebrating. Um, I can't believe it's been five years from eighth grade study skills with you, Greta, Alice, Ned, and Kyle, all the way to senior research. I've always loved having you in class. And I think you're always in the same seat in the classroom. You're kind and funny and you always work so hard. I, your work ethic is really admirable. And you're always working hard with a smile on your face. I'm so happy that I've gotten the chance to get to know you over the years. Um, the nursing field is gonna be really lucky to have you. I'm excited to see what college and the future brings for you. You're awesome. I hope you always believe that about yourself. And congratulations. The following seniors have been recognized for their excellence in visual arts. Morgan Frazier and Sarah Mann. This year's overall visual art award goes to a student who has been a leader in the visual arts since she came to Lamarck High School. She is naturally curious and finds joy in making. She advocates for the arts and inspires her peers and teachers. She is always seeking ways to go above and beyond and learn more and do more for others. Most of all, she is an incredibly thoughtful and kind human. Even through these challenges and the change in her senior spring, she is present and engaged and always says thank you. Next year, she will be bringing her incredibly positive, creative, and hardworking spirit to Parsons in New York City. She will be very much missed at Landmark, but will be a lifelong member of the Visual Arts Department. This year, the overall Visual Art Award goes to Lydia Jackson. In the Tech Department, we have a ton of hardworking students but one stands out as someone who lives and breathes his work. Jalen Reese spends his time in class completely productively, working toward growing his music portfolio. He also works for a radio station on Tuesdays and Thursdays, doing what he wants to be doing and gaining important skills to move forward professionally. During this last quarter, his productivity is not flagged and he is always a great student to chat with. The overall tech award goes to Jalen Reese. The second overall tech award goes to a student who is dedicated to his work in and out of class. He is resourceful, resilient, organized, motivated, and diligent when it comes to his craft. The second overall tech award goes to Nick Dalton. Hi everyone, my name is Brooks Sumner and I serve as Landmark School's Director of Athletics. Today, I'm honored to present eight deserving seniors, Landmark School's Annual Scholastic Athletes of the Year Awards. These awards are truly special, and never more so than this year, with such an incredible senior class, and a class that's had to endure such a difficult spring. So these awards are unique, 
in the sense that they really represent what high school athletics are all about. These eight seniors have embodied the ideals of what it truly means to be a student athlete. Each of you have dedicated yourselves to multiple interscholastic sports, all, uh, well, also maintaining the very highest levels of commitment in the classroom. I am very proud to make the following eight awards, which come with a $200 scholarship for academic related materials toward your future education. Please join me in congratulating our 2019 and 2020 Scholastic Athletes of the Year. They are Ian Alsop, Catherine Burns, Maddie Carl, Nick Lopardo, Sean McDonald, Zeke Riley, Aaliyah Wilmot, and Greta Wright. Congratulations to all of you. Well done. Hello all, my name is Christina Scanlon and I'm honored to present Olivia Moran with the Athlete of the Year Award. Throughout her time at Landmark, she has been a contributing member of the cross country and track teams. Liv was a leader of the first girls league championship team in school history, MBIL team champion, two-time MBIL all-star, two-time captain, and a school record holder for track. Liv has also worked exceptionally hard in the classroom, earning high marks and a high GPA. I am pleased to award Olivia Moran the Athlete of the Year Award. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Josh Harden, where I help coach the cross country and track and field teams here at Landmark. I wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate Ryan Shea on being awarded Landmark's Athlete of the Year. Throughout his career at Landmark, Ryan has had unprecedented success both as a member of a team and as an individual. Within only four short years, Ryan has been an integral team member of two New England team championships and three EIL team championships, while also racking up numerous New England and EIL All-Star recognitions, and was also this year's EIL Cross Country MVP. Above all, Ryan's impact will be felt for many years to come as he helped to instill a culture of success, commitment, and forward thinking that all his teammates appreciate and will try to emulate in the coming years. Congratulations, Ryan, and we look forward to your future success at Roger Williams. Hey, Landmark faculty. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. For the past two and a half years, you guys have been my support system, especially Ms. Houlihan and Harrington for being there for me in Williston dorm. From Mr. Blanchett and Ms. Muska, my Wednesday night rant session buddies, to Ms. Kilker and Ms. Hubach, you guys were my tutorial teachers junior and senior year. And for Mr. Walker, being there for me in science, when I didn't understand anything, you were always there for me. Finally, Mr. G, it breaks my heart that we will not get to say goodbye. However, you've been there for me the most, and I'm so incredibly thankful to have you in my life. Thank you all, and I cannot wait to come back and visit. Hi everyone, it's Sophia, and I just want to say thank you to all of you for making Landmark such an inspiring and supportive community. I am truly thankful to call Landmark my second home. To the teachers I've had the past three years, thank you for believing in me and telling me I can, especially when I doubted myself. I would not be where I am today without all of you. I want to especially shout out my incredible academic advisor who has had my back through the, my journey at Landmark. And another shout out to my wonderful tutorial teachers who have helped me expand my skills beyond what I ever thought was possible. Because of all of you, I feel prepared for college. And a special thanks to my house parents for creating an incredible second home and the counselors for always being there to talk. And lastly, thank you to everyone who advocated and supported me when I want to pursue something that might not have been considered the traditional path. You all helped me figure out how to complete an online language course and complete all my college applications. I appreciate all of you and future seniors. Never take a day for granted and always believe in yourself.